Hello everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here today. For today's lesson, I want to take a look at idioms that are related to swimming. So for this lesson, I've chosen eight different idioms and as always, we'll look at some definitions and of course, many examples. Okay, so let's start the lesson. The first one here says, be swimming in something. And the definition says to have lots of something. Okay, if I'm swimming in money, that means I have lots of money, okay? Or if I'm swimming in problems, that means I have lots of problems, right? So we can be swimming in something physical, right? If I have a lot of clothes, then I can say I'm swimming in clothes. But as I mentioned, I can be swimming in problems, right? Which is not something physical. So if I'm swimming in problems, again, it just means I have lots of problems, okay? All right, next one says dive right into something. And the definition there says to begin doing something with no hesitation. Okay, imagine I'm reading a book, okay? And then I finish the book and immediately I pick up another book and I start reading a second book, okay? So we could say, I dove right into another book, right? So again, I began reading another book with no hesitation, okay? All right, think about this. Imagine, I want to start a new project, okay? So some people, when they start a project, they might do a little bit of research first, right? A little bit of preparation, but other people, they might just dive right into a new project, right? So they'll just immediately start it with very little research, right? With no hesitation, as it says there, right? Okay, next one says to get one's feet wet, and the definition is to test or experience something for the first time, right? Okay, imagine I want to start learning how to play a musical instrument, right? Maybe I want to play the guitar. So if I get a guitar, right, and maybe I just practice it, or maybe I get a lesson from one of my friends, right? So I'm not sure if I wanna play the guitar or not. So if I practice it a little, right, I'm just getting my feet wet, right? I'm just kind of, as it says here, I'm just testing it, or I'm experiencing it for the first time, right? So I'm just getting my feet wet. Same thing, if I wanted to learn any new skill, maybe I wanna learn how to sew, right? I wanna learn how to sew, buttons onto my shirt. So I might just practice doing it or I might try doing it for the first time. So again, I'm just getting my feet wet, right? I'm just sort of experiencing it for the first time, okay? All right, next one says to jump or go off the deep end, okay? And the definition here says to take drastic action, okay? And that word there, drastic, just means extreme, right? To take extreme action. Okay, so again, imagine I'm thinking that I want to go back to school, right? So maybe right now I'm working a job, right? And so then I'm thinking maybe I want to go back to university. So if I just quit my job just suddenly and I go back to university, right? I kind of jumped off the deep end there a little bit, right? Maybe I didn't take any time to think about it or I didn't take time to prepare for it for a little while. I just kind of did it, just sort of suddenly. So I kind of jumped off the deep end, right? Or again, imagine I have a friend, maybe he, he wants to move to another country, okay? So then he calls me and he says, guess what? I'm moving to, you know, China tomorrow. So my friend kind of jumped off the deep end, right? You know, he, start, he sort of went from like, maybe thinking about it, right? It was just an idea, and then suddenly tomorrow, he's moving to China. So he kinda jumped off the deep end, or went off the deep end, right? He made a very extreme decision, or he's taking a very extreme action. So he jumped off the deep end. So this can be a good thing, or it might be a bad thing, right? It, it could be both, right? Okay, next one says to make a splash. And the definition is to get a lot of attention, okay? So imagine my friend has a party, and so for the party, I wear this really nice expensive tuxedo, and I got a really nice new gold necklace, so I mean, I look really good, right? And most people are just wearing sort of like 
normal clothes, just pants and a t-shirt. So when I walk in, wow, I look amazing here. So I kind of made a splash at this big party, okay? Or maybe I come to the party in a limousine, okay? So wow, I show up to the party in a limousine, so I made a splash at this party, okay? Or imagine it's a, a big Hollywood party. So some famous Hollywood actress, she comes to the party wearing a very small little dress. So you can kind of see most of her, of her body, right? Of her body parts here. So she's gonna get a lot of attention, clearly. So she made a big splash when she came to the party wearing the really small little dress, right? So she made a splash. Okay, next one says to test the waters. And the definition is to cautiously experiment with something before moving forward with it. Okay, you might notice this is a little bit similar to getting your feet wet, okay? But the difference is that when we're getting our feet wet, there's not really any caution there, right? It says here to cautiously experiment, right? There's not really any danger. Remember my example, I said, I wanna learn the guitar maybe. So I'm gonna get my feet wet and I'm just gonna practice it or I'm gonna take a lesson, right? And there's no, there's no real danger in that. There's no real caution. Okay, but think about if I physically test the water, right? I think most people, before you go into a swimming pool or a lake, or the ocean, you might just put your foot in, right? You dip your foot in a little bit because you want to see, is the water really cold? So there's a caution there, right? You're kind of, you're, you're literally testing the water, okay? So imagine this, imagine I have a girlfriend and I want to get married to her, but we've never discussed marriage. So I don't know her feelings about marriage, so I might, test the waters and ask her, what are your feelings about marriage, right? Just marriage in general, not marriage to me, just marriage in general. So I'm testing the waters, right? Because again, I'm sort of being cautious here because if I wanna get married to this woman, I need to find out first, is marriage something she's interested in, right? So I'm testing the waters. There's a little caution there, before I move forward, right? And moving forward would be asking her to marry me, right? So I'm gonna test the waters first. Okay, a couple more. Next one says to swim with the current or swim with the tide. Okay, remember the current or the tide is the direction that the waves are moving in the ocean or maybe a river, right? If a river goes this way, we can see this is the direction of the current, right? Okay, so. It says there, to go along with or agree with the popular opinion or thought. Okay, imagine, most people believe that motorcycles are dangerous, okay? Maybe that's the popular opinion. So if I also think that motorcycles are dangerous, then I am swimming with the tide, right? I kind of agree with that popular idea. Okay, but if I don't think motorcycles are dangerous, right? So again, in this case, I disagree with the popular opinion, then I can say that I swim against the tide or I swim against the current. So I don't agree with this popular opinion, okay? So anytime there's a popular opinion and you agree with it, then you swim with the tide. If there's a popular opinion and you don't agree with it, then you swim against the tide, right? So I can say, oh, he swims against the tide regarding motorcycle safety, right? So that means he disagrees with the popular opinion about motorcycle safety. Okay, and last one says to be thrown in the deep end. Okay, and this is a great expression. I really like this one. So it says to not receive any training or instruction before starting something new. Okay, usually when you start a new job, somebody trains you for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of months, right? They give you training, they give you instruction, they show you what to do. Okay, but imagine I start a new job and on the first day, the manager says, okay, all right, start working, right? Just do it. So he doesn't give me any instruction, he doesn't give me any training, he just 
throws me in the deep end, right? He just puts me out there and he says, start doing it. Same thing, imagine, I, jo I join a new sports team and I expect that the coach, you know, he'll give us some practice, he'll show us some techniques, but imagine he just says, all right, I want everybody to just go out there and just start playing, right? So the coach is throwing us all in the deep end, right? He's not giving us any instruction before we start playing the game, right? He just throws us out there. He throws us in the deep end. Okay, I wanna see if we can erase the whiteboard and I wanna take a look at some written examples using each of these idioms. So let's take a look at these examples then. So the first one here says, this city is swimming in seafood restaurants, right? So that just means this city has a lot of seafood restaurants. Okay, next one. My friend Bill is always diving right into new projects without giving them much thought, right? So he just starts them quickly without preparation or much hesitation, right? Okay, next, I'm not sure if I want to learn to play the piano yet or not. I'm just getting my feet wet for now, right? So I'm just kind of trying something new, right? Okay, next one. Did you hear about Jim? He went off the deep end and quit his job yesterday. Pretty crazy, huh? So again, here, Jim took a very extreme action and quit his job, right? Okay, next one. The famous actor made a big splash when he showed up to the event in a helicopter, right? So of course, he's gonna get a lot of attention showing up in a helicopter, right? Arriving at this event in a helicopter. Okay, next, before we moved to Los Angeles, we decided to test the waters by taking a small vacation there, right? So again, moving to Los Angeles, maybe I don't know Los Angeles, so instead, I tested the waters, right? I kind of cautiously experimented by taking a small vacation there first. Okay, next, that guy is always swimming against the tide. Nothing he says or does is conventional, okay? So again, remember we said swimming with the tide, but again, swimming against the tide is to, not, is to disagree with sort of popular opinion or popular thought. Okay, and last one, the manager really threw me in the deep end on my first day. I had no idea what I was doing, right? So he didn't give me any instruction, he didn't teach me anything, he just threw me in the deep end, right? Okay, so that is the end of today's lesson. I hope these examples were clear and easy to follow. Thanks so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.